Hello guys, welcome back to Kids Coding Playground. So today will be the first video of uh, us introducing uh, Python. So uh, in Python, um, you can um, either use like a PyCharm, like a editor IDE to do it, or you can go to this uh, website, uh, trinket.io. Uh, basically, it's like, uh, you know, uh, Scratch, you do it online where, you know, you can code everything on the browser. So this is what uh, Trinket.io is. So it's a similar thing. Uh, you can sign up for a free account. Just use your Google account and connect to it. And uh, it's pretty easy. All right. So so once you get there to the to the site, you can just click on sign in with Google. So after you click on that, it will create an account for you. And then you can uh, edit your code there. So uh, let's go there for now. Okay, this is uh, uh, Trinket.io. If you go over here, you can say uh, login. Uh, and then you can click on this. Like uh, you have to have like a uh, Google account that you have, um, you know, your personal Google account. Just click on this, it'll create the account for you. Okay, so once you get onto here, you'll see like, uh, you know, coding, uh, it has like a total in space. This is like a example project they had and the bird box and some other snowflake. So basically you can use, uh, you can look into this code and try to, um, you know, do the project. It'll show you how it works. Uh, these are using Turtle. So basically Turtle is a graphic um, uh, tool, a uh, library that you can use with uh, Python where you can uh, create, you know, graphics, uh, uh, putting like pictures and stuff like that, like a pen, kind of like in Scratch, you use pen to draw. So in Python, you use the turtle library. Okay, so once you get into here, okay, once you log in here, uh, you can click home here. Uh, after you click home, you can see this uh, new trinket. So you can click the down. Uh, these ones are locked, so you have to actually uh, pay for them. Uh, so for now, we're going to use Python, the, the basic one. Um, you know, maybe later we can go into like using PyCharm ID or something. I'll show you at the end of the video. So uh, for now, we'll go to here. Okay, once you go in here, um, you know, all the uh, project usually you start with is the Hello World project. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, so this is our Hello World project. So in Python, um, you can um, you can just type in like print or something. Like let's say you want to print something on the screen, right? Just say print. And then you put the Hello World. So let's say this is the, uh, this is your, your code here on this side. And this is kind of like the stage. Like imagine if you're doing scratch, right? This will be the left side, will be the block, right? Where you do the block and this is the stage on the right. So you click on this run button. So when you run it, it will say hello world. So whatever you type here, the code here, it will execute the code will be on this side. Okay, so let's say we wanna print, you know, um, let's say kids coding playground. So we do that. So the hello world will no longer be there, right? Because we just replaced it, right? So if you run this again, you see kids calling playground on here on the side here. Okay, so let's say, you know, we want to try to learn now. Like, let's say we draw a little figure, right? So you can copy and paste, right? Control C, Control V, just highlight. Let's say we draw the little dog, okay? Do an O. Okay. So you can use a single quote or a double quote in, in uh, here, that's fine. So if you use single quote, then you have to use single quote on this side, okay? And you can have a semicolon also at the end if you like. Um, you know, like Java and other one, uh, other kind of language, you always have semicolon in, uh, in Python, you don't, uh, you might not need it, that's fine. But you can put it either way, that's fine. So in here, let's say we wanna make the little dog with the legs. Um, we are going to put a space, let's say, oops, I want to pipe down. Okay, something like this, right? So if I run this, I will see like kids calling playground and then like a little dog figure, right? So let's try that. So as you can see, you can kind of draw the little dog figure. 
let's say we want to draw something like uh, you know uh, let's say we want to print out space right let's see okay let's say we print this and then we do something else in the bottom right let's say testing and we'll run this you see you can put a gap here right if you want to put a gap here in between you can do that okay so let's say we want to draw something else like a little man so for this one okay let's say put an O here right I'm still putting a double core I guess uh, because I'm uh, I, I work in Java so that's my background so what we use is use double quote so um, but either way it will work so let's say you do the little man so for this since uh, this uh, on this one is an escape character so if you want to print something called escape character like a slash here this forward slash you have to have actually two slash in the in the front okay and then let's say we do one and then we do a backslash here okay so this is like we're trying to make the hand right for the uh, for the low man so we're gonna put one more here we're gonna put the feet okay and we're gonna delete this we'll put a space and then we have to use the slash again we'll do two slash here okay so it, it, when we run this actually you will only see one okay and then here you only see one as well so let's say we run this right Oh, you see, I haven't lined up my man, the head. Let me do that. One space, one space. Okay, let me run that again. So as you can see, kind of like a little man, right? Also, uh, it's pretty cool uh, in Scratch. Um, okay, so uh, let's say you want to do some kind of uh, like numbers. You can add numbers. But also, it's one cool thing in Python. You can actually uh, like... Let's say you have a symbol and you want to like create a bunch of symbol, you can actually do this like print. And then let's say we want to put the uh, the ascent, right? The ascent is all you remember. I think we did one of the video with the uh, with the coin matching game. So you say all zero one six two. So it actually create a send symbol. Let's say we want the send. We want like five of these. Then you can say multiply with a star. And then you say five. So when you actually run this, so the semicolon at the end is optional. You can put it or not. It doesn't matter. Uh, so in Python, you just have to indent if you want to be like in the loop or something. We'll go into that next time. So uh, let's let's run this. So you see, actually, it create five of the sense. So actually, pretty cool. So uh, even though it's uh, like uh, you thought it would be a multiplication, but uh, somehow he actually understand that. So if you're using this symbol with this five it actually trying to create five of these guys so let's say we want print let's do one right one let's say one plus four right let's see what happened so you see it can add it up and if you actually do a multiply with the uh, let's say five times two right semicolon here let's run this so we actually put 10 you see that so this is multiplication right uh, addition and then this actually create five of the symbols so this is like a little uh, introduction to uh, Python uh, but you can do a lot of stuff like uh, like using the turtle uh, library we can go into like you can put like a stem uh, like uh, similar to um, scratch you can stem icon on the screen and uh, in PyCharm also, like uh, I have a PyCharm also loaded. So this is like PyCharm. I I'll run this program for you. This is like using Turtle with the uh, color. And you can actually uh, make some uh, uh, shapes here. So you go to run, let's run the app. I actually have it on the other side. I have to bring it over. So as you can see, uh, it actually, uh, I have to bring this uh, window over. It's actually on the other side. So as you can see, uh, using this turtle uh, uh, library, you can actually uh, mix color, and then you can look through this color, um, different color here, and then you have uh, keep on drawing this uh, little uh, hexagon, 
you know, with the color. So it's pretty cool. I mean, uh, this is like one of the things that you could do and then you can draw some turtle and other little things. All right, so we'll stop here for now. And um, okay, so we'll stop here for now. And uh, thanks for um, you guys for watching. And uh, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. And I will create more, uh, you know, a Python video later on. Okay. All right, guys. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.